Today I'm going to show you how I made this tool flip table out of 2x4s with a set of caster wheels to make it portable and some cheap bolts used as locking pins. This thing is pretty beefy and was able to support the weight of my heavy planer and this video is going to show you how you can build this for yourself without needing to buy any set of plans. So check that out, I'm going to show you how you can make one for your own shop. To start this off, I'm going to cut all the 2x4 pieces down to size. Our design is going to be mainly 2x4 sandwiched together to be able to support the large weight of all the equipment. So I'm going to set up a stop on my miter saw and make repeatable cuts and batch out a bunch of these pieces. For sandwiching the pieces together, I'm going to first apply plenty of wood glue across the entire length of the 2x4 and I'm going to attach two screws, one at the top and bottom of each piece. Next, for the two pieces that are on the top supporting the table, I'm drilling out a hole that will fit a metal pipe inside of it. This will be the main support for rotating of the flip of the table. But I'm actually going to be drilling two size holes, so I'm passing a metal tube through, but I'm going to be capping off each end, which is actually a thicker diameter than the bigger hole, therefore I need two different diameters. So, for now, I'm going to use some pocket screws for my joinery, and because this frame needs to be strong to prevent any failure, I'm attaching them both to the sides of the sandwich 2x4s. I'm also going to come back later and attach metal corner brackets because I want to make sure that I over-engineer the joinery rather than risk this table crashing down from some type of failed joint. Once I've built a square frame from each side of the table, I'm now going to attach longer 2x4 pieces to connect these sides together. This will make for the longer dimension of my flip table. These joints where the single 2x4s meet the doubled pieces is exactly where the metal brackets will go later on to help reinforce the strike. Okay, before we add all of the weight with the tabletops, I'm going to screw in all of the caster wheels to the bottom, and these have foot pedals, so I can lift the table off the wheels and it'll be stable on the floor, and I can click them on when I want to move it around. And now for a quick strength test, and it holds! Okay, now let's move on to the tabletop, which we're going to be making out of some plywood sheets sandwiched around some giant 2x10s and some 2x2s. Okay, so first we need to cut the plywood down to size. We're going to make sure to remeasure the space inside of our table sides since we need to account for any slight changes in the cuts from our original plans. Okay, so next, let's lay out the black pipe with the 2x10s and make sure everything's centered. Because of some bad planning, I need to cut out some small strips of wood to raise up the black pipe so that it's right in the middle and even with the 2x10s.
Then I'm going to apply a lot of glue and start attaching the 2 by 10 to the plywood sheets. I'll use a square to make sure everything is aligned properly and I'll start by clamping everything down. Once both pieces are clamped down, I'll attach two short strips that I made from 2x2 two two to make up for the extra length of my tabletop. I decided to add some brad nails just to make sure everything was attached because I'm going to be removing these clamps before it actually dries. Then I'm going to glue the other side of the 2x10s and attach the other side of the plywood. And then after clamping it all down, I can come back with some screws and make sure everything is attached nice and secure. While we are building this, I wanted to mention that I'm not incorporating an outlet element for it, making it easy to power all the tools on the table because I really don't like the idea that the tool that I'm having upside down can accidentally turn on by a quick click of the switch. So I'm opting for plugging in each one of these every time I want to use it. Okay, now for the real test. Let's get this giant table top over to the frame, slide in the pipe, and enjoy this fun moment of seeing it spin. Before attaching any of the tools, I'm gonna drill out four small holes, one in each corner. This will allow me to insert the bolts that will not only lock the table into place to prevent them from rotating, but it's actually gonna add a lot of support within the frame. And then I'm actually going to attach all my tools to the tabletop with some lag bolts just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Unfortunately, I realized too late that I didn't make the table big enough for my router table, but it's actually pretty easy to layer on a quick extension of this with a thin plywood sheet. And I kind of like this approach because it makes it easy to use these tables for multiple tools down the line. And then we're all done. And this thing feels so stable with this giant amount of weight it's supporting and it moves and rotates so easily. So I know this is gonna be one of my favorite additions to the shop. In fact, I'll probably end up making a few more of these. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or if you're making one for yourself, let me know down in the comments. And as always, thanks again for watching. Peace.